Greetings, Earthlings. Finally landed our instrument here again. Um, yeah, this is kind of a response to a video by Jacob Truman on the uh, um, Breakfast Club the other day, I think it was on Wednesday, uh, this week when this is recorded, uh, called Off Offending to Offend. Um, in which he asked uh, if there's any v moral value in when people like make YouTube videos deliberately intended to offend people you know like when for example atheists deliberately take the piss out of Christians and so forth and so on um, and he didn't really come to any firm conclusion on that. And that got me thinking. And as far as I'm concerned, offending someone or deliberately setting out to offend someone, there's an interpersonal element to that. In other words, you're attacking um, an individual or a group of individuals but there's th it's there's the interpersonal element there um, and if you attack an individual the chances are or it's almost inevitable that that's going to cause them to be to become defensive um, I mean, it's logical, really, to think about it. If someone attacks you, um, the first response is to be defensive. No matter how justified the argument that's behind the offensive remark may be, how legitimate the underlying criticism may, may be, your first response is most likely to be defensive. So it shuts down. So for the most part, being deliberately offensive, to me, would seem to actually shut down any kind of possibility of dialogue. Um, then again, that begs the question, well is that your intention, is that in the intention of the person being offensive? You know, are they intending to incite dialogue or are they merely trying to elicit a negative emotional response? If they're merely trying to, you know, elicit an, a negative emotional response, then, you know, you know, good luck to it. But, does that have but I can't see that that has any like I said any moral value at all um, I think the the problem is is that often people confuse attempting to be provocative with being offensive And there can be a very, very fine line between the two. And also, often as well, what are intended as criticisms or attacks on ideas are taken as attacks upon an individual because the individual who takes offence has identified themselves so strongly with a particular, uh, with a pati the, that particular idea or concept that they cannot separate the two. They cannot separate their uh, themselves from a particular idea that they hold. 
in other words like fundamentalist Christians they can't distinguish between the beliefs that they have and themselves as an individual so any attack or criticism upon their beliefs is taken as being a personal attack against them in which case their being offended is their problem I'm not sure that any of this makes any sense I'm trying to make a coherent argument here and I'm not sure that I'm actually doing that but really my bottom line would be I don't think that there's any real value in simply setting out to offend people unless that's what you want to do if you just want to elicit a, a you know a negative emotional response from people then you know go for it you know if that's how you get your jollies you know who am I to criticize you I think you I you know say you're a bit of a dick but you know but however that shouldn't stop you from it should never ever stop you from examining and criticizing any concept uh, concept or idea everything should be up for question absolutely and we need to distinguish we need to learn to distinguish between attacking a concept or idea and attacking individuals who happen to hold those concepts and ideas the first as far as I'm concerned is a perfectly legitimate thing to do second not so much but if people can't separate themselves from the concepts and ideas that they hold and they become offended when no offence was intended then they're the ones with the problem so yeah um, this is actually quite a complex issue and I think I've rambled on enough long enough about it anyway but yeah um, you know if you want to deliberately offend people then go ahead and do it you know I think you're probably a bit of a dick if that's how you get your jollies but you know whatever yeah so that's it really um, hopefully this made some kind of sense um, if yeah leave a you know, if you want to leave a comment below or make a video response or um, yeah draw a picture somewhere uh, whatever takes your fancy um, also give us a thumbs up if you found it interesting and if you'd like to uh, you can uh, obviously subscribe if you want to hear more of my um, um, semi-coherent ramblings and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice life until I see you again <laughs>